Riley, thanks for being with us. Uh, were you surprised by the downgrading of the charges against Braden Bushby? I was, yeah. And I maybe shouldn't have been because, you know, this is such a common occurrence for Indigenous people and especially Indigenous women getting, you know, the perpetrators of the violence on lesser charges or letting them off easy um, for the violence that they commit. But it was surprising to me. And I think, you know, after hearing Colton Bushy and Tina Fontaine's name in the news and, you know, talking about reforming the justice system for all these years, um, it just wasn't something that was necessarily on my radar. You've started a letter writing campaign targeting the Crown Attorney, Justice Minister David Lametti, Thunder Bay MP Patty Haidu. Uh, what are you calling for? Yeah, so I, I am calling for them to basically speak out against sort of what I feel and now at this point public support has also echoed um, this really unjust sort of trial that's happening. Um, and speak out in favor of, you know, Barbara Kentner, but then also just Indigenous people across this country who um, are facing uh, improper charges and, and racism in the justice system. And thousands of people have accessed those templates to send the letters off. You recently wrote an opinion piece for the Toronto Star expressing some enthusiasm about what that means for Thunder Bay. Can you tell us a bit about why? Yeah, I mean, because I grew up in Thunder Bay, and to be an Indigenous woman growing up in Thunder Bay, I, I know how deeply racism permeates uh, the city, and it's something that's been talked about um, in podcasts and books and, and in national news over the past few years. And so even five years ago, I don't think um, to see thousands of people rallying around an Indigenous woman uh, is not something I would have expected to see. Um, and when I put this out, I wasn't sure that this was the response I was going to get. It wasn't what I anticipated. And so um, it makes me hopeful that um, there is some level of change happening in Thunder Bay. Um, and it's really interesting because on my end, on the analytics, you can see especially the ages of the people who are, you know, interacting with this. And it's mostly people under the age of 34, um, which shows to me this sort of generational um, change where young people are showing up in droves to support one another and caring so much about these issues that um, I felt like adults around me growing up weren't, you know, really invested in, in the same way that I was. So that's really, you know, heartening, if any from this. Well, Riley, appreciate it and uh, appreciate you taking some time for us today. That's Riley Esno, Anishinaabe writer and advocate.